going on, everybody? I'm Chris Arthurs. I'm the defensive coordinator from Naperville North High School in Naperville, Illinois. Today's presentation, we're going to be going through some of the techniques that we teach our guys and coverage drills that we use for our athletes at the defensive back position. Now, um, about this drill segment, we created this drill segment during the uh, corona pandemic that's been taking place as a segment that we could have our guys do both in a virtual practice and on the field practice. So you're going to see these drills done in a 10 by 10 box for each drill. And the way that the, uh, the reason it's set up like that is because we wanted to have video and tape that we could use as drill work for our guys, even when we weren't with them in person, when we were doing our virtual practices. And we want to have stuff that we can give those guys to help, uh, help them become better football players. Everything we teach, all the drills we teach, all the technique we teach, we're teaching it with the philosophy that we're going to work on our feet, hands, and eyes. We think that if we're teaching those three things for every drill, every technique that we use, we're going to be pretty good, and that's going to be the backbone of how we operate and the way we teach things and what we believe in. Our first drill is our break drill, two backpedal steps and a short 45-degree break uh, for shallow pass routes. Hands should attack the offensive player to create disruption on the ball, inside and first. Eyes play through the offensive threats, hands to the football. You know, you've got a diagram right here that's going to show, you know, here's the offensive player. He can run a quick route. Boom, we're going to do our back pedal, then boom, break on the ball. Now here comes the video of it. Well, we want to see our guys, how they should look doing it. Back pedal, back pedal, break. Back pedal, back pedal, boom, break. Next, next technique is our drive drill, two back pedal steps, followed by a 90-degree open hip break. Attack the hands of the offensive player to create disruption on the ball. Eyes play through the offensive hands threat to the ball. All right, this technique we're going to use for, you know, an out route, a dig route, something that's working flat into the formation or across the field or towards the sideline. Here we go. Here's the drill. Back pedal, back pedal, break. Break. Drive, good. So that's our drive technique. Next technique is our speed turn. All right, two back pedal followed by a back angle landmark steps towards either our deep quarter or whatever our landmark is. But we're trying to speed turn towards, um, you know, a post route, a corner route. Hands are going to attack the offensive player to cause disruption on the ball. And our eyes are going to play through the off offensive threats, hands to the football. Again, we talk about what we could use this technique for. Well, we could use this technique to defend a corner route, a post route, something that's pushing vertical and working towards the middle of the field or towards the sideline with the, uh, you know, that corner route or that post route. Here's the video. Okay. Guy's going to come up. Back pedal, back pedal. And go. Here we go again, other way, back, 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 go. Last drill is our carry drill. Two back pedal steps followed by a full sprint turn up field. Hands are going to attack the offensive player to cause disruption on the ball, and our eyes are going to play through the offensive threats, hands to the football. So this is our technique that we teach our guys. We want to defend, you know, a vertical downfield, okay? So those are, you know, the route combinations that we're going to take away with these techniques. Here's a video. Boom, carry that route. Good. Not bad. Carry, 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 carry. Awesome. All right, well, uh, again, those are some of the videos and drills that we've been doing with our athletes during the COVID pandemic um, in our virtual practices. We want to create things that replicate what we're going to do on the field when we get back to that. Um, you know, we're lucky we're getting close to it, but we want to have drills that guys can do both in an inside and outside setting. And we think that this is a great uh, video for those guys to practice and become better football players. Thanks again for checking, checking out our video today. I hope you enjoyed this video clinic. Please subscribe to InstaClinic so that you stay connected to this one-of-a-kind football resource.